Good morning, everybody. I'm Marco. And uh, I am Davide to um, the argument today. The, and uh, we, we try to give uh, you a theoretical overview on fundamental rights and uh, a very briefly presentation about it. Uh, we can start talking about uh, current status of discrimination in the uh, European uh, Union and uh, the special Eurobarometer report for uh, NI3 uh, called uh, Discrimination in the uh, European Union and uh, published by uh, European Union Commission in 2019 takes a snapshot of the European sociocultural context on the issue of discrimination and confirm that prejudice and intolerance toward minorities and uh, diversity remain uh, widespread across the Euro European Union. So the results of the, this survey conducted uh, using interview uh, with uh, about 27,000 people belonging to different social and demographic groups in the 28 member states of the European Union show a sort of ranking of uh, groups whom European citizens feel are discriminated against. At the first place for this uh, ranking, we have um, Roma ethnicity people with uh, 61%, uh, then individuals or other ethnicities and skin color with 59%. Uh, at the third place, people with a non-heterosexual orientation, then human beings of various beliefs and religion, and people with disabilities with 44%. So in general, the level of tolerance uh, rises in the Northern European countries. For example, the level of tolerance in the Nordic countries such as Finland is uh, 41%, but the European average is uh, 61%. So however, the, the European context shows an increase in uh, cases of discrimination. And for this, we must reaffirm the fundamental importance of freedom of expression and opinion, tolerance and respect for the equal dignity of all human beings. So Daniela can, can change the slide. We uh, can give a, a, a brief overview about the principal rules, international European rules about fundamental rights and uh, principle on non-discrimination. We can start with the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, 1948, that sets out for the first time uh, the fundamental human right to be universally protected. We can read the Article 1 that states that all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with this reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. And uh, important is the Article 2 that say that everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedoms outlined in this declaration without distinction of any kind, such as race, color, sex, language, religion, political or other opinion, national or social origin, property, birth, or another status. Uh, furthermore, no distinction shall be made based on the political, jurisdictional, or international status of the country or territory to which a person belongs, whether it be independent, trust, non-self-governing, or under any other limitation of sovereignty. Uh, so uh, we can uh, change the slide. We have the European Convention on Human Rights. Two years after two years after the declaration, we have this convention, European Convention on Human Rights, that for the first time defines the prohibition of discrimination and the, uh, the article 14 that is very, very important uh, and uh, say that uh, the enjoyment of the rights and freedoms set for in this convention shall be secured without discrimination or, or any ground such as sex, race, color, language, religion, political or another, another opinion, national or social origin, association with a national minority, property, birth, or another status. Finally, we can uh, talk about the Treaty of Amsterdam that instituted the European Union and uh, in effect since 1999, that the Article 10 say that the Council may take appropriate action to combat 
discrimination based on sex, racial or ethnic origin, religion or belief, disability, age or sexual orientation. So these rules are to be considered uh, without doubt milestone of civilization for humanity in the field of human rights or fundamental rights. And the, the Article 14 of European Convention on Human Rights uh, has been implemented in different countries of European Union through the enactment of national laws. Despite this, we are still far from the practical implementation of, of such prohibition, because seen from everyday life, unfortunately, demonstrate frequent incidents on uh, discrimination against people uh, of different ethnicity, uh, religion, sex, sexual orientation, or with physical or mental disabilities. And the manifestation of discriminatory behavior comes from and feeds on prejudice and stereotypes, but also feeds on toxic narratives amplified by media and social network, outlining a complex and worrying situation. This is the reason why centuries have to work against all forms of discrimination. Uh, we can go on with a discrimination and fundamental right in a sport environment, in the world of sport. Uh, we can start talking about the Article 4 of the Olympic Charter. Uh, the Olympic Charter represents the codification of the fundamental principle of Olympics, the rules and the statutes adopted by International Olympic Committee. And the, the Article 4, uh, this charter states that the sport is a human right, the enjoyment of which must be guaranteed for all without discrimination of any kind. So European Commission in uh, 2007 uh, write a white paper on sport in Bruxelles that constitute a milestone about the recognition of social role sport plays and its contribution to social inclusion. And it states that sport makes an important contribution to economic and social cohesion and more integrated societies. Our residents should have access to sport the specific needs and situation of underrepresented groups, therefore, need to be addressed and the special role that sport can play for young people. People from a less privileged background must be taken into account. So uh, sport can also facilitate the integration or into society of migrants or persons of foreign origin, as well as intercultural dialogue. As said by European Union, sport is a source of social inclusion and recognized as an excellent tool for the inclusion of minorities and groups uh, at risk of social exclusion. As well as promoting physical and psychological wellness, sport is also an important educational and training tool and often anticipates social changes. The great potential of sport in the process of inclusion and social transformation is well represented by the words of a one of our time, uh, Nelson Mandela, fear opponent of apartheid policies in South Africa, and as a result, forced to 27 years to prison before to become uh, South Africa president and winning the Nobel uh, uh, Peace Prize in 1993. Uh, he gave a, a great definition of sports. He said the sport has the power to change the world, it has the power to inspire, it has the power to unite people in a way that little else does. He speaks to youth in a language that, uh, that they understand a sport can create hope where once there was only despair. It is more powerful than governments in breaking down racial barriers and it loses in the face of all types of discrimination. So despite this, despite this, too often, still too often, uh, the prohibition of discrimination seen in the international, European and national legislation, as well as the Olympic Charter, the statutes of the National Olympic Committees and the Sport Federation is not respected on the playing field in the sports center by players, by supporters, sport manager, or also in federal rules. Racist and homophobic insults by athletes, discriminatory chants 
by support of federal regulation that exclude and discriminate against foreign players, lack of equal opportunities between women and men, confirm that sexism, racism, homophobia continue to occur in the world of sport, not only among the fans or athletes, but also an institutional level. So this is the reason why we are here today. This is why a project like Century Sport is needed so that the principle of non-discrimination is truly applied in the world of sport. To achieve this goal, Century Sport project aims to develop a common methodology for bringing to the surface, preventing and mitigating the discriminatory phenomenon in the places of sport. So Davide can continue the relation.